Hey everyone, it's Joe LaRosa, here with the Joe LaRosa Podcast. So today's episode 7, and today I gotta be able to bring it in for a landing, because I know in the last episode, episode 6, you know, we were talking about how important it is to have more conscious awareness, right? To be, be able to get into alignment. And I kind of left you hanging without telling you really how to do that. So let me go back to, from our last episode, let me go back to my story of when I was out in Arizona, kind of on this trail, hoping to have like this aha moment, right? To realize, all right, it's just going to come to me. You know, and when I realized when I was out there, and I was out there for a couple of days, you know, I kind of left, was on the flight back here to Florida. And I was man, I just didn't have that, like, that one moment where it just all clicked. But the one thing that I walked away from, and I didn't even realize how important it was, was that I really learned about how important it was to be able to actually just, like I said last week, stop and just kind of smell the roses, kind of just feel what's going on around you. And so what I was taught was basically how to properly meditate. Right, so my my experience in the past, whenever I've even thought of meditating, I'm like, there's no way I can do that, right? I have like a million things going through my mind. If I sit there and kind of close my eyes and just try to get myself in that peaceful state, I'm gonna be thinking of all these different things, and I'm not gonna be able to just be in that in that total zen. But what I was taught was, look, there's a reason why your mind goes in the direction that it goes. So what I was taught was, listen, just Kind of just relax, close your eyes, you know, take a couple deep breaths in, breathe out, and then start to kind of in pay attention to what you're hearing. And in the past, whenever I would hear something, I would automatically get distracted. But no, no, it's it's okay. Become aware of what's around you. Listen to whatever noises you may hear. Any, you know, the birds chirping, anybody maybe trying to start their car across the street or down the street or whatever. Just be aware of what's going on around you. Then be aware of what your body is feeling. You feel like, you know, you're, you gotta, you know, itch, you know, you gotta itch on your nose, you gotta scratch your nose, you gotta scratch your arm, or you just feel like your, your legs are getting kind of tight. Just focus on what your body is feeling. So you focus on what you're hearing, what's around you, then focus on what your body's feeling. And what's happening is, is that you're starting to go through a process of actually forcing yourself to become consciously aware of what's going on around you and within you. And then from there, right, in the past, I think of all these different crazy thoughts, and I'm like, it's kind of like flipping through the channels. It was like one thing after the other. I'm like, well, I'm not like in this Zen moment. But what's happening is that you're actually having these thoughts, these images are coming into your into your mind for a reason. There's a purpose behind it all. And if you navigate through this journey, you're gonna realize that over time, if you take notes and you pay attention to what's going on when your eyes are closed, that's that higher conscious that's now connecting with you and actually is allowing you to become aware of what could be the solutions to maybe some of your problems. And I'm telling you, it didn't hit me right away, but probably after about a week or so of me starting to put this new exercise in the practice, it totally changed my life. It allowed me now to be able to see things in a whole new light. It allowed me to kind of take a time out, to kind of stop, smell the roses, and kind of realize, you know what? I have the answers to all of these different problems. There's always going to be a solution. And my friends, you always have, you always will know the answer to any one of your problems. You may not like the answer, but you always will have the answer. So my friends, that's this week's message. I hope you enjoyed it. You can always follow me on Instagram at at Joe A. LaRosa. Or you can check us out at JoeLaRosa.com and see any one of our upcoming events or workshops. I look forward to speaking with you guys again here real soon. Take care.